Hello and welcome to Frank's School. <laughs> Got a cat and a dog doing their thing here. Um, okay, this is the 113th day of the third year, and and I'm going along with uh, Burke, uh, adding a gloss as as probably is the right word for it to his uh, his uh, the day the universe changed. Now I'd like you to begin episode three, and I'd like you to go as far as the 17th minute, 31st second. Uh, in my mind, I, I think in terms of a, a school class period, how much in one dose would would be okay, and I think that's probably that's probably about right. Uh, this uh, it's called point of view, and I think that this episode is a little easier to follow than some of them. I think, uh, and I don't think I have to say that much. This is a correction for the one before, um, in light of the above. I left out the Greeks. When I'm talking about the Spanish connection that kind of saved civilization for us, I was saying Arabs, Spanish, Northern Europeans. The Arabs got it from the Greeks. I mean, there's this whole loop that came around. Well, I guess I'd go like, like this uh, from your perspective, from your point of view. Uh, uh, from the Greeks to the Arabs, across North Africa to Spain, and then into the rest of Europe again, including Italy. Uh, well, the things that he's going to talk about, uh, you should be able to pretty much follow this. Putting a grid on a map, Ptolemy uh, is one of the ones who, who, who first did that. Kind of amazing, really. I think he was about 100 A.D. that he lived. Uh, he's going to talk about a guy named Manuel Chrysoloris. I think that's how you spell his name. <clears throat> These would be names to look up, uh, you know, if you wanted to fill out the period or... If you wanted to do a little research on your own, uh, you could so quickly go to, say, Wikipedia and look these up. Uh, who, who went from Constantinople to uh, uh, Florence, I guess, is where he, he came. He's going to mention double entry bookkeeping, just kind of in passing, uh, at the moment anyway. He's going to mention humanists, a different way of thinking, that uh, very different. And at this point, he really only touches on that, but you're going to hear that term humanists. Uh, he'll be in the city of Florence, he'll then be in the city of Rome, and then he'll go to Padua. Uh, and when he mentions Paolo, Tos uh, Paolo Toscanelli, that's the point where I say that would be a good place to stop. Uh, you, you, you will, you would, you'll understand easily enough, I think, what's coming next, but that's enough for one time. So. Uh, See you, see you tomorrow. Well, for the time being, I'm going to stick with Burke every, every, uh, every day for a little while, but then I'm going to start to mix something else in, as you'll see. But anyway, bye for now.